Hey everybody, so this video is going to cover the basic concepts associated with finding um, and understanding the equation of a circle and just the general form of uh, finding its center and its radius. So uh, let's look at some content and then we will do some practice problems. Uh, so starting here, let's just say, and this is just kind of an explanation of, um, of how the circle's equation came to be. If you have a circle with its center at the origin, so that could be, um, you know, right there if it was the origin, um, and a point x, y on the circle, um, and then now consider a circle with its center h, k, and a point x, y on the circle itself. Um, by the Pythagorean theorem, we would have this equation right here to uh, demonstrate the equation for any circle. Um, now, this video's focus is not going to be the proof of this equation, but more so how to apply it. Uh, the basic idea, though, that we can kind of take away from this diagram right over here, uh, the part of the equation, x minus h, that letter h is being associated with the horizontal movement along the x-axis. That's what you're going to want to keep in mind when you see the letter h being referenced. The horizontal movement on the x-axis is the center of the circle. Is it moving to the left? Is it moving to the right, um, that's kind of what the uh, variable h is is looking to um, to kind of address. So uh, keep that in mind as we go through these examples. The other thing to keep in mind uh, pretty much goes hand in hand, but the part of the formula y minus k, uh, k is referring to the vertical movement of the center of the circle as it relates back to the origin. Uh, so that's where all of the counting begins for the, um, the circle equation. Uh, you start at the center of, you start at the origin, and then you move towards the center of the circle following the directions given by h and k. So let's just look at a standard example. Um, and what you would want to either have on a piece of paper next to you or at least have memorized is just that equation for the um, first for a circle, x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared. h and k are both representing the center of the circle. And then uh, r is the radius of the circle, but in the equation, it's r squared. And then um, x and y are just coordinate points that are on the circumference of the circle. So uh, sorry for not addressing that before. Let's, let's now just apply that to a practice problem. What is the standard equation of a circle with a center at 3, 5 and a radius of uh, 6? First, here is the equation for a uh, circle. Um, and now let's just replace the values for h and k. Um, h is 3, k is 5. Now, it might be tempting to uh, say in your answer, because it is a positive 3 and a positive 5, x plus 3 and y plus 5. But what you really need to keep in mind, the formula for the equation of a circle, it inherently has minus signs inside of the parentheses. Those, those minus signs, those subtraction signs, they are part of the formula. They are not uh, part of the coordinates that you are about to plug in. They just have to stay there. And you'll see in a later example how these, um, these negative signs can wind up changing. So for now, you just plug in what you were given. h was 3, so x minus 3 squared, plus y minus 5 squared. And then the radius was 6, so we replace r with 6. 6 squared, of course, if you can simplify, you should. 6 squared is 36, and we have the final answer. This equation right here is the uh, standard form of a circle that has a center at 3, 5, and a radius of 6. So uh, another example here, we are um, still trying to figure out uh, the equation, but this time we don't exactly know the radius. So if you want to pause the video and try to figure this one out on your own, go for it. Otherwise, here is the explanation. Um, 
you know, you can see right here, we're given the center at one comma negative three, and we're told that it passes through the point two comma two. And notice that means the point on the circle is two comma two. That is an x, y coordinate that they are giving you. It's not the radius. The radius is not two. So what we're not told that we need is the radius, and the radius would be the distance right there. Now, Perhaps you might notice that the Pythagorean theorem could be applied right here. If, um, if I were to treat, let me just see if I can uh, make this a more precise line. If I were to treat this as a right triangle, the Pythagorean theorem could be applied uh, with that being a right angle. And you just count the distances and you can figure out the radius right there. And then you could just plug that into your equation and there you go. Um, but for the sake of this video and how I'm trying to emphasize the point of using this equation, I'm going to show a different strategy for finding the radius right now. Um, so here's another way to get the answer. And you're welcome to do the Pythagorean theorem method um, and, and get the answer that way. So um, first things first, we know the center is 1, negative 3, so h is 1 and k is negative 3. We know that our uh, point 2 comma 2 is an x, y coordinate, so we can fill in the information right here. h is 1, k is negative 3, and we don't know the radius. That's the question mark right now. So let's start building the actual equation that would give us the answer for the radius. And right now, based on the standard form for the equation of a circle, we know that it would say x minus h, and h we know to be um, positive 1. So notice how it says x minus 1. Remember, there is a minus sign that is part of the formula, so that 1 is a positive one, even though it says x minus 1 in the equation. Um, you raise it to the second power. The same thing with the uh, y part of the equation, but notice something. Again, the formula has a minus sign in it, but the value for k was negative 3. So when we plug in negative 3 to the formula, the minus sign has to stay there. So it's going to say y minus negative 3. And I'm sure if you remember your algebra skills, you'll know exactly what to do with that in a moment. Um, we don't know what the radius is, so we're going to set the equation equal to r squared, and we will be solving for r. Um, the next part of the problem we were given the coordinate 2 comma 2 from from before we know that 2 comma 2 represents x y values now this idea is one of the more challenging things that i notice uh, newer algebra students face um, after being a teacher for a decade um, understanding that you can take any coordinate that you know is on the shape, or a line even. If you know a coordinate point's on a line or a circle, it doesn't matter. If you know the coordinate point exists on the figure, you can plug the x, y value in to the equation, and it's going to give you the uh, remaining variable in, in this case, or, or it's going to give you a, um, a true statement. That's another way to look at it with a different style of problem. Um, but I noticed that just algebra students don't always think of that as an option, and it is a really good route to take, because um, watch what happens. Now we can replace x and y with 2. And then in the first part of the expression, 2 minus 1 is 1, and 1 squared is going to be 1. Um, but in the second part of the expression, the double minus sign right there, you're going to turn that into a uh, plus sign, and we're going to have 2 plus 3, which is 5. And then 5 is getting raised to the second power. So um, 1 squared is 1, and 5 squared is 25. And that is going to equal r squared when you add those together. And then the square root of 26, whatever decimal that is, it's not important right now. Um, but the square root of 26 is what the radius would be of the circle. Um, so uh, oh, there's a little extra square root sign right there. Okay, um, so the, uh, the radius is the square root of 26, but because in the formula, 
um, r squared, your, the radius to the second power, is what you are supposed to write on the other side of the equation. Um, a normal 26 would go there because the square root of 26 squared is simply 26. Um, so that is the answer to that question. Um, another Essentially the same style practice problem, um, you know, pause the video, I'll work this one out a little more on the, uh, the quick side. Um, you know the circle center is at 4 comma 3, so x minus 4 squared plus y minus 3 squared would be the equation. We don't know what the radius is, but we do know it's supposed to say r squared. We know the xy coordinates of negative 1 and positive 1. Um, exist on the circle. So we can plug those into the equation and now simplify to get the value for um, r squared. Um, negative 1 minus 4 is negative 5, and 1 minus 3 is negative 2. Square negative 5, and you square negative 2, and you get 25 and 4, respectfully. Um, and then 24 plus, uh, 25 plus 4, that is 29. And then that will equal r squared. Um, so the radius would be the square root of 29. And oops, did it again. Copied that extra radical sign. Um, the radius itself would be the square root of 29, whatever that, that decimal number is. Um, but for the sake of the formula, um, r squared is supposed to be written there. And when you um, take the square root of 29 and you square it, you get uh, 29 again. Um, so uh, another problem, just graphing a circle given its equation right here. Um, you could draw a graph on a separate piece of paper and try this on your own really quick, but um, here we go. Um, we should start off by identifying the center and the radius of the circle. You're going to notice right here, though, it says x squared plus y squared. There is no x minus h. There is no y minus k. That is because both of those values are 0. If you're subtracting 0 or adding 0, it doesn't change how anything looks. So this actually said um, x minus 0 squared plus y minus 0 squared equals 36. And those zeros just kind of exist as... Um, um, holding the position for the actual equation. Um, so next, the value of r, it says 36 right there, but that's r squared. The value of r is therefore the square root of 36, which is 6. Now, we know the center of the circle is at 0, 0, so we can plot that right there. And we also know the radius is 6, and that means it's 6 units in every direction. So a quick strategy to drawing a circle um, on a graph, once you know the center and once you know the radius, just plot some points like I did here and uh, draw as close of a circle as you can. I have a circle tool, so I'm able to make it um, perfect, but um, that's all you would really need to do in order to draw the circle on a graph. Here is one more example practicing that same skill. Um, again, pause the video, resume it when you're ready. Uh, the values of h, k, and r, based on the equation up here, we know, oh, and notice right there, it says x plus 4. The original equation would have said x minus h squared, so the only way it could now say plus there, but the original equation is supposed to say minus, well, that's if 4 were negative, so h is negative 4. And um, k, it does say y minus 1, so that means just the number 1 is the value of k. The minus sign is part of the formula. Um, the 25 is representing r squared, so that means the square root of 25, which is 5, is the radius of the circle. If we plot the center of um, negative 4, 1 right there, and then go 5 units in each direction, we can make a decent sketch of our circle. That would look something like that. Draw it as uh, best as you can um, freehand. Um, with that being said, that brings uh, the end to this video. I hope you were able to understand the basic uh, structure of a circle and its equation. And let me know if you have any other questions in the comments and leave a like. Thank you very much, and I'll see you next time.